welcome back to the pig room or welcome to the pig room if you are new here super excited for today's video because i am actually going to be moving milo into this room as you guys know this was the room that i designated to the rescue rabbits but because we do not have as many from the rescue i figured it's time to actually start the process of bonding milo and Vinny. Vinny was neutered two and a half weeks ago so he still has a couple weeks to actually recover from that but i wanted to get this bonding process going and actually have milo and Vinny as neighbors this way they can adjust to each other and i can really gauge how they're acting towards each other through the bars. Now, Milo has never, ever, ever seen another rabbit, so I'm quite scared to see how this is going to go. In the meantime, I wanted to let you guys know that the rescue rabbits are doing absolutely amazing. Here is Tinsley, the most amazing mom ever to her seven babies. She is doing a great job at raising these babies. As you guys can see in the background, they're not little raw chicken nuggets anymore. They have full fur. They're walking around. Their eyes are open. It's kind of crazy to see that because literally it felt like yesterday they were just being born and now they're walking around they're nibbling on hay it's really awesome to see but we owe that all to tinsley so thank you tinsley just look at the babies you guys oh my god i'm gonna do a full like video on them and actually put together like a whole compilation video of them actually growing up from day one to now so look forward to that i'm not gonna give you guys too much of a look at them because i kind of want to save it for that but yeah you guys can see that they're looking absolutely amazing here is Vinny's pen he's living in a rather large x pen which i was really happy to expand before when i had all the rabbits in this room they were living in two feet by six feet pens it worked for the time being but i definitely like giving my rabbits a lot more space so the space he's in now is a lot more suitable Vinny is doing awesome even from the first day that he actually came into my house he was just the most comfortable and sweet boy ever so let's go ahead and get this process started so i'm gonna go ahead and use this carrier to actually put in tinsley and then for the babies i just have this cardboard box lined with the pig mat on the bottom so i'll just put them in here they're not gonna be in it long so do not worry and then I did section off the babies into their own little area so I could grab Tinsley really quickly. The babies are still small enough to actually slip through the X-Pen, which is why I have that little barrier off to the right to stop that from happening. So do not worry, I have the entire perimeter of the X-Pen blocked off so they stay inside of it. But look at the little babies, guys. I just cannot. It's so cool being able to actually pick them up when they're their size. I know that they're going to grow up really, really fast on me, so I'm trying my best to appreciate them while they're this size. It's just... It's so cute. Look at their little ears and their noses and their eyes. I seriously cannot get over it. It's the best thing ever witnessing this. So now it's time to go ahead and disassemble Tinsley's cage. So we're going to go ahead and break down this X-Pen and just get things all nice and out of the way so I can actually sanitize this area for Milo. Because there were other rabbits in this room and Milo is being introduced to this room um, and has never been around rabbits or even smelled one, I want to make sure everything is super sanitized and clean. So I am actually removing everything and sanitizing the walls and the baseboards and the the floors. We're getting this room as clean as I possibly can. So I'm just rolling up the fleece and just getting rid of all the hay and the poops that were actually on that. Of course, we're going to go ahead and sweep up all the remnants that fell on the floor. You guys probably don't know this because I've only mentioned it on Instagram, but I actually am going to be doing another renovation here in the bun room now I can say um, and we're going to be replacing this flooring with the exact kind that I put in the pig room this flooring's nice but it's been here ever since we moved in and I'm just not a huge fan of it the color is just way too dark and for the overall vibe of the room that I'm going for in the bun room I want things to be really light and airy so the flooring that I picked out is going to be gorgeous and it also works out better for the buns case because the area is going to be a lot more neutral than compared to me just cleaning the existing flooring so that video should be out in the next two or three weeks very excited for that one now what I'm doing is sanitizing the walls, baseboards, and the floor. Again, I want to make sure everything is as clean as possible before I go ahead and actually move Milo into here so that way the smells of the other rabbits doesn't disturb him and his experience with meeting Vinny for the first time. I don't really have any high hopes for the initial reactions when it comes to Milo just because he hasn't seen a rabbit in literally his entire life of five years, five and a half years. So I have to kind of give him some grace if there is a chance that he doesn't react, you know, very nicely. I gotta understand that he may just need some time to adjust. So I'm now going ahead and actually laying out my my waterproof mat for the buns. I actually ended up not folding in half and just using the entire thing, which I changed right here. But actually I ended up using the lighter side as well. I just have an obsession with just light things. I feel like the buns just look so much better on it. I don't know what it is. That's my vibe. I like creams and tans and beiges. That's the whole color scheme that I love. Now I'm going ahead and adding in all of Milo's toys. I've actually been swapping Milo and Vinny's toys for the last week so they can get used to each other's scents. So just switching out things like toys and tunnels. So they have gotten a sense of each other's scent, but 
but not to a crazy extent. I will be actually switching both of their pens and actually picking them up and swapping them in about a week from now. So hopefully that ends up actually making the process a little bit easier for them. Here is the first shot of Milo next to Vinny. He was like, nope, not about it. He just did not want anything to do with Vinny in that moment which again, I'm not surprised about because he's never seen a rabbit. I'm not sure he knows what to think or to do. Vinny, on the other hand, is just very like, where's my treats? What's going on? Hey buddy, how you doing? Vinny's very used to other rabbits, as you guys know. He's my outgoing boy, um, but obviously due to the situation of how Milo grew up with being alone and living in a hutch for so long, he's just not really used to other rabbits. So he may need a little bit more time to warm up to the fact that there may be another rabbit in his home. He may be under the impression that he's the king of the house but unfortunately that is not the case. I do kind of see Milo being the dominant one if I'm being completely honest. I think given Vinny's personality and also his birth defect with having one eye, I feel like just naturally he's going to be a lot more submissive than Milo. There's something about Milo where he is very submissive, yes, but I feel like there's probably a chance that he's gonna be the king. So we shall see when we do the bonding. I went ahead and added in some pellets to each other's cages to kind of entice them to see each other and look at each other. As you can see, Milo wanted nothing to do with Vinny. Um, even pellets didn't get him to come over, which is kind of crazy because he's very pellet motivated. The most important part when it comes to putting two rabbits next to each other is that you provide a decent enough spacing between the two X pens. Rabbits can actually hurt each other really, really badly through the bars. So highly, highly, highly recommend actually putting a decent amount of space between them, at least five inches inches because that way you can ensure that they're not going to hurt one another. This is really just a way for them to see each other, not necessarily interact with each other physically. Again, this is the very beginning stages of the bonding process, and this way is a really great way engaging their behaviors towards the bunnies and them getting used to each other's presence. So highly recommend doing this method before you actually physically bond your bunnies. So Milo was actually not that happy at having Vinny as a neighbor because he was thumping non-stop. And it's actually been going on now for three hours. As I'm recording this voiceover, I'm actually hearing him at the moment thumping downstairs it's so loud rabbits have such power when it comes to their hind legs and yeah milo is just thumping non-stop it is to be expected though with milo because he's never seen another rabbit in his life so he will just need more time to adjust and this actually works out better milo needs time to adjust to having a rabbit in his presence and meeting one for the first time and Vinny needs time to recover from his neuter. So it just works out amazingly. I hope Milo can come around of just understanding that Vinny's a very nice boy. He could be my friend and soon enough, I'll be together with him and we'll get along and groom each other and play with each other. That's what I hope will happen. You guys can also see, but I have a white bowl in between the pens. Milo has a habit of actually nudging over the X pens, even when he was living upstairs in the pig room. He loves to escape, uh, not in a jumping over the pen way, but in a way where he likes to nudge the pen a bunch of ways and figures out a way to create space and a gap in between the wall and the pen and escape. So in order to prevent that, I actually ended up putting a little basket that I got from the dollar store in between there. If Milo was to nudge his pen over to Vinny's, they could get seriously hurt. Either Milo, either Vinny, maybe even both. I do not want that to happen. When it comes to me being a very cautious bun dad, I wanna make sure that their safety is top priority. I of course set up my pet camera in the room to monitor them. As I've been editing this video upstairs in my room, I've literally just been watching them 24 seven to see how they're interacting with one another. Again, Milo's just thumping nonstop. They're not showing really any interest per se in each other at the moment. But again, I think in time when they warm up to each other and a couple days go by, a couple weeks, they will get used to each other's presence. And hopefully I get to see them laying up against their pens by one another. That would be amazing to see because that lets me know that there's a chance that they could get along. Also, you guys, I know that here on this channel has been a lot, a lot of button content. Obviously, I'm sure you guys can give me a little bit of grace because when I do rescues like this, that is where my attention goes. And also I like bringing you guys along through the entire process. So there's just so much to film. And a lot of you guys actually ask for updates. So it's been one rabbit video after another, but I promise you guys pig content is coming soon. It's actually going to happen in the next video. So we'll be back to our normal scheduled program. Also, while I'm here, I want to ask you guys, should I create a separate channel for the buns? I feel like it could be a good idea to do that because I know a lot of you guys subscribe to this channel for purely pig content, but I want to get your guys' opinions on if you actually don't mind me including rabbit content here on this channel. So let me know down below. I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. Please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos every single week. And until then, I hope you and your piggies are happy, safe, and healthy. Bye guys.